Hi, it's the Math Sorcerer here. In this video, I'm going to be responding to an email I received from a viewer. His name is Simon, and his message is as follows. Hello, sir. My name is Simon. I am a freshman at a state university, majoring in applied mathematics. I love your channel and videos, especially the videos on Calc 1 and the list of books for math majors. So my questions are, what are your advice for someone, me, who wants to pursue a career as an applied mathematician and teach and do research? What was your process like in graduate school and or PhD program if you have one? Is it rare to teach at a university where you got your PhD? Lastly, do you have cool advice for applied math majors? I know you got a degree in mathematics, but it would be absolutely awesome to hear it from you. It's all right if you don't have to answer to some of them. A response is gladly appreciated. Thank you for your time and motivating me. Awesome. If you respond to this message, I honestly would be so shocked and happy. Thank you. Best Simon Tran certified math lover. I love how he signs it that way. Okay, so let's answer these questions. So advice for someone who wants to pursue a career as an applied mathematician and teach and do research. Well, the single most valuable piece of advice I can give is the advice that was given to me a long time ago by probably the best professor I ever had. And that advice was, learn as much as you possibly can. Focus on learning. And I know that's, that's really hard to do when you have grades and stuff because you have time limits and you have tests you have to take. And oftentimes, you know, the focus on learning seems to be very disjoint from the focus on you know getting good grades uh, but if you focus on learning it will help you tremendously in graduate school and so when i got that advice from my professor when i was an undergrad i really tried hard to focus on learning and it really helped because when i got to grad school i used pretty much all of the math i learned as an undergrad or most of it in grad school so it really really helped right so focus on learning because the math you're learning as an undergrad is something you're going to be using in grad school and possibly for the rest of your life if you end up doing research and teaching. What was your process like in grad school and or PhD program if you have one? So my experience in graduate school was very, very good. Uh, my first year I didn't teach, but after that I did have to teach and it was a great experience. I had to take a class on you know teaching and I remember I did not want to take that class, but it was an amazing experience and I got to meet amazing people. Uh, the professors were amazing. The students were amazing. It was overall a really positive experience and uh, I think you should have it. I think it's a good experience and I think you're going to have a lot of fun. And I would say it's definitely better than being an undergrad. Being a grad student is way more fun. It's also way harder, but it's a lot more fun. Is it rare to teach at a university where you got your PhD? I would say yes. It, think about the school you're at now and ask yourself how many of the professors that work at your school actually got their PhD there. Probably a, a very, very small amount. So most of the time, um, people go somewhere else to teach. It's very unlikely you, you can stay. Also, um, you're an undergrad right now, so you mentioned uh, teaching at a university where you got your PhD. Um, as an undergrad, it's just my, my personal opinion, is I think it's always better to go to a different school to get your PhD. And it's probably better to even teach at a different school. Um, that way you meet more people, you have new experiences. Um, it's always better, I think. And yeah, I think that's it. So I hope this reply has been helpful. If anyone has any advice for Simon, uh, please leave a comment in the messages below. Good luck.